If somebody told you that for very little money, you could make your golf clubs perform better for you, then of course you wouldn't think twice about trying it. Which got me wondering why we see a lot of tour pros using this tool, but not really that many amateurs, even though it is pretty much accessible to anybody. And if you hadn't guessed by the title of the video already, what I am talking about is of course lead tape. You can find lead tapes at a lot of places actually, like Amazon or eBay sell it, and they'll either come as a roll like this, or they'll come in ready-made cut tabs like these. But whichever tape it is that you go for, they will always be the same and they're always self-adhesive when you pull the backing off. I mean, that will just stick straight onto the club head or the shaft or wherever it is that you're going to stick it. And it is actually really strong stuff, like it shouldn't really be coming off at any point unless you purposely try and take it off at a later date. And if you do decide to do that, then it still won't leave any mark or it won't affect the club in any way afterwards. Now, the purpose of lead tape is to change the weight of a club, which will result in a different feel overall. And as a rough guide, it will usually weigh about two or three grams per inch depending on what type of tape that you go for as you can find different styles and different thicknesses so it can vary slightly but ultimately it's never really going to be too far apart now at this point you might be thinking that it is a bit of a gimmick as a couple of grams you wouldn't think will make too much of a difference. As I said at the start, if you do take a look into Tor Pro's bags, then more times than not you will find at least one club throughout their bag which does sport some sort of lead tape on it. So that leads me to think that there maybe is something a bit more to it than you first might think. Now even if you don't see any of their clubs with lead tape on them, that doesn't actually necessarily mean that they never had it on originally. I've heard from different places that a lot of the players like to use hot melt with in the head instead of using like tape which is obviously going to be a bit easier to do with a driver or a wood where there is space inside the head unlike with an iron or a wedge so when you are looking at what clubs the tour pros tend to have it on you will see a lot of them using it on their irons but not as much on the drivers although there is still some there so basically what they have the ability of doing is using lead tape to find out where they're hitting the best from and using that location to pour hot melt into that exact place inside the head so they'll get it the same weight as the lead tape that they've used and in the same position so it will just feel exactly the same for them as if there was lead tape there. But obviously from the eye on the outside you wouldn't be able to tell any difference and that might be for a few different reasons like maybe they just don't like the look of lead tape or maybe they're just scared of it falling off during the round. But what position would be best to put the lead tape in? Obviously I've talked about how it can change the weight but what does that actually mean? Well if you look at a lot of drivers and putters in particular now maybe even on some woods and even in some cases on other clubs you will see that they do come with different weight ports where you can swap the weights in and out. Now you will normally find that these weights come as either like a 10 maybe 15 gram for the heavier one then they'll usually have a light one in the opposite port which maybe weighs like two or three grams if obviously they're using two different weight ports on the same head. So what you have the ability of doing when you do have that is changing out the weight to suit a different style of shot that you want to play. So like for example if you put the weights towards the front this is always going to make the head a bit lower spinning and potentially a bit less forgiving as it is moving the center of gravity forward. Likewise if you were to move the weights towards the back then this is going to make it a bit more forgiving and a bit higher launching and higher spinning. Then you start moving even the weights towards the heel or the toe which if you've ever seen a draw biased head then you'll always see that they have a weight in the heel of the driver and this just means that if you're weighting the heel out so it's a bit heavier than the toe as you're coming through it's just easier to square the face up because the toe is a bit lighter it's easier to turn that over and again the opposite is going to happen if you put the weight towards the toe which you don't really see any drivers having a weight put up there usually as the majority of people do struggle with a slice so most drivers do tend to lean more towards being draw biased if anything so yes of course i'm going to be putting this to the test now to see if it does actually make any difference and if there is any point at all in using lead tape on your golf club. So I'm just going to hit 10 or so shots with my 7 iron and driver as standard and then I'll do the same again but using lead tape in various different positions. So I put three layers of tape down on my 7 iron and then moved that over onto my driver afterwards which I weighed when I got back home and found it to be about 15 grams. Now interestingly I could actually feel whereabouts on the head I had placed it in the iron whereas with the driver I couldn't necessarily tell that difference and it just made the overall head feel a lot heavier which to be honest it just felt absolutely terrible to swing. But now let's take a look at what the numbers were actually saying. So my 7-iron as standard was 164 yard carry with the important numbers of 2.6 yards left of the target line and averaging 516 RPM of draw spin. Then we would take a look at that same 7-iron with 15 grams of lead tape on the heel. That was 167 yards of carry and 9.2 yards left of the centre line with 800 RPM of draw spin. And then when the weight was moved into the toe, this was the interesting part as this is probably why I would place it if I was going to put it on my irons. And what do you know, it did come up as 1 yard less on the carry 
carry but 1.3 yards to the right this time instead of going to the left and averaged only 341 rpms of draw spin so as you can see by them numbers it wasn't massive amounts of difference but definitely big enough to notice and for me to justify having it on the club the interesting part though was that the ball speed went up with both lead tape averages which i wouldn't really have expected that as the club is a bit heavier so i thought it might have dropped off a bit but that's always a nice bonus to see then as for the driver well it was a bit of a different story here so as standard i was losing a few with this out to the right so i didn't think there was really much need for testing it with the lead tape in the toe however testing it in the heel with the 15 grams like i said before just felt horrendous and i actually started losing it even further out to the right i think just because the head felt so heavy i just didn't feel like i had any control of it and i just couldn't get used to it so after a few attempts i decided to remove a couple pieces of the lead tape which just left one six gram piece and i could actually still feel that extra weight and it just made the head feel slightly a bit heavier but i couldn't really feel the weight in the heel it was more just the overall weight of the head but again the numbers were pretty conclusive with what i was seeing in the irons it just felt a lot easier to turn the face over so with the extra draw spin it meant increased distance on top of being a bit straighter and most importantly closer to the center line now another popular club on tour which you might see a lot of lead tape with is of course with the flat stick which was brought more to light last year by ricky fowler's jailbird where the whole of the complete sole was covered in lead tape but there is a few reasons why you might like to put it onto your putter probably the main one i think is because if you are playing on quite fast greens and you might find it a bit easier to control the pace if you've got a bit of a heavier head but also because it is making you hit it a bit harder it will help you to feel like you're giving it more conviction when you're hitting your putt it should help you to build your confidence up a bit more than if you're just trying to lightly tap it now there's a few places where you might find the location of lead tape on a putter but the most common one probably is on the sole of it but you also might find it in the back behind the face a lot of the times or even in some cases like phil mickelson if you wanted to wrap it around the bottom of the shaft that will also do the same thing just maybe not quite as appealing to the eye i mean if you really didn't want to see it you could also put it underneath the grip which i know some people have done and if you are waiting out the head then it might be an idea to stick a weight or something similar in the top of the shaft just to even out the weighting of it covering the whole sole on something like a jailbird size is going to add about 25 or 30 grams so it's definitely something that you are going to notice i've been using lead tape on my putters for quite a while now and whenever i pass it to somebody to either have a go of or just to hold straight away they always comment on how heavy that actually feels and i just personally prefer the feel of it being heavier and as i said before just having the ability to feel like you're giving it more conviction i always seem to put better on slower greens so if i feel like I can hit the putts a bit harder than I always tend to do a bit better on that day. Now the last thing I need to mention it which some of you might be wondering is that as long as you aren't touching any part of the face then it is fully legal to use. You also have to make sure that none of it falls off while you're playing otherwise that can lead to some sort of penalty I'm pretty sure. Of course you're not allowed to add or purposely remove any while you're playing as well. If you're thinking about giving this a go for yourself then let me know down in the comments how you get on with it. Anyway as usual thanks for watching I'll see you all in the next one.